began as a teacher training school in San Francisco in 1857. Then, <clears throat> excuse me, it was known as Men's Evening Normal School. And um, what that was is it was a school for teachers. In 1871, Men's School relocated here to San Jose and it was called the California State Normal School. This is important to notice that it was the California State uh, Normal School. Consider this, eight years after the gold rush of 1849, people in the state of California, or people of California, were already thinking about the importance of educating the next generation of children. They were investing in public funds in teacher education to assure the quality of programs that children would receive throughout the state. Before 1898, there were no specialized, I guess you could call it, specialized approaches to training teachers here at San Jose State. Early educators and elementary school teachers and high school teachers, they all took the same curriculum. It didn't matter what age child you were planning to teach, every instructor got the same approach, okay? So that went on for quite a while. Um, and it's surprising to us now that there weren't um, specialized courses for, say, high school teachers versus kindergarten teachers, but that's the way it was. In 1898, the Board of Trustees for this institution acknowledged the value of early education and established the first uh, kindergarten training department with a demonstration classroom right here at San Jose State. It began under the direction of a woman whose name was Miss Woodward, and she was imported from Boston to, to do whatever needed to be done. She was assisted by three other faculty members. Initially, there were three adult students in this new program, and there were 70 children, about the same number we have now, in the lab school. The program apparently was an instant hit, and it soon outgrew the space that had been provided. What's important to note is that some form of the program that you have just completed has been offered here at San Jose State for 118 years. And in a nation as new as ours, and certainly on the West Coast, you know, that's a long time. Our graduates this afternoon are part of a very long tradition. So here are a few things about those early years that might interest you, or you just go, oh, I gotta roll my eyes at that one. Times have changed. So admissions criteria were different. You had to be 18 years old. That sounds about like it is now. But you had to declare, and this is a direct quote, you had to declare the intent to engage permanently in teaching in the common schools of this state. In other words, you were signing your life away when you came here. You were going to be a teacher forever. And we know now that that's not the way um, teacher candidates uh, work out in the state of California. Yeah. So, there's a little difference. The curriculum was different. It was a two-year, not a four-year program. Students took classes in kindergarten theory each semester. And each semester, not just one semester, but each semester, they did practice teaching in a lab school. As now, they took psychology and child study classes. Here's the big one. The cost was very, very different.